During the vibrant 1960s, the Rolling Stones, renowned for their rock prowess, occasionally found themselves sharing the stage with the bubblegum pop ensemble Herman's Hermits. Mick Jagger, a key figure in the Stones, held a disdainful view of the group, while Herman's Hermits seemed to intentionally provoke the Rolling Stones creating an atmosphere of tension between the two factions. In a 1995 interview, Jagger addressed comparisons between the Rolling Stones and iconic 60s bands like the Beatles, highlighting the frequent likening of the Stones to various groups, including Herman's Hermits. Recalling an incident in Philadelphia where Herman's Hermits headlined over the Stones, Jagger expressed frustration over disputes about dressing rooms and encounters with mistaken identities that irked him profoundly. Herman's Hermits, despite being known for their cheerful and accessible image, appealed widely to teenagers and broader audiences with their music blending pop sensibilities and rock and roll elements. Though their success waned by the late 60s, their songs like I'm Into Something Good, Mrs. Brown You've Got a Lovely Daughter, There's a Kind of Hush, and I'm Henry VIII I Am, remain nostalgic for their infectious melodies and playful charm. However, despite their popularity, the Rolling Stones did not hold much respect for the band, their insistence on closing a shared show in Philadelphia without extending the performance led to an early departure of part of the audience during the Stones' set, much to Jagger's annoyance. This clash with Herman's Hermits wasn't the only discord the Stones faced during their peak. Even the Beatles, specifically John Lennon, expressed friction with Jagger, accusing him of imitating their work and likening some of the Stones' creations to replications of Beatles' tracks.